We are here at Craven Cottage, the home of Fulham FC. Alan Smith is alongside me, Martin Tyler. Premier League football we have for you. It's coming you right up. Enjoy it's Fulham game. against Leicester City. Yeah, thanks, Martin. I think both teams here are going to be positive. They are set up to attack, so I'm expecting a few goals here today. I don't want to put the mockers on, but I am expecting a few. And here it is for Fulham. This is their team for this match. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone front man. One or two options now in forward areas for them. And he's flagged offside. Here's Iosi Perez. Three changes for Leicester City. Starting in goal, Danny Ward. Yuri Tielemans plays with Wilfred Ndidi in midfield. And today, it's just the one striker in the side. to put them ahead it looked a certain goal until the defender managed to get some contact that's just instinct but that is top defended corner swung in very good piece of work by the goalkeeper to turn that away from danger now that's a throw he's got good support in the middle if he gets his cross in it's not a cross that's cause the defence any problems and certainly not the goalkeeper this could suit Leicester on the counter-attack well that counter-attack didn't work and they might be counter-attack themselves now well he seemed to see a pass there that none of us could see from where we're commentating from threads it through well this could be dangerous in a wide position they've opened them up here well that's the way to take the lead that's a stunning goal. Fine move. Excellent application in front of goal. He's a really good player. And he's taken the chance with some aplomb here. Well, it flew in just under the crossbar. Yeah, I think he thought for a moment there it was going to actually hit the bar. But no, he's got a goal and it's a good one. He's not the easiest of managers to work for. I know that. But his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Here's Josh Onoma. Players up in support if he needs them. Players trying to attack the cross. Any danger to the goal has gone with that clearance. Super block. I think he rushed his shot there. And that's why it's so wide of the mark. Chalasionsi. Leicester City. Let the ball slip away from them. Takes the shot off. Can't get the shot through. Good block. Well, we've really seen a big head of steam built up here. Putting the opposition under the cosh. Can they make something of this set piece? And here comes the corner. Defenders managed to get in the way there. Reaching for it a little bit with the header. And that's the expected result. Back to the training ground, I think. You can't quite believe, looking at those stats, how they are actually losing. But if it carries on in this vein... It's an own goal! Oh, you've got a feel for him now. It's his responsibility, it's definitely an own goal. It is, you'd like to try and defend him, but he just didn't make up his mind quickly enough there. So, away we go at one all. Opportunity in a wider area. Goalkeeper is there for him, and he's played it. What's the keeper doing here?
Here's Josh Onema. Camera, Tom Kearney. Well, that's over the top of the defender, and one to chase. Good effort, very close. Well, this is where the space is at the moment, on the flanks. He might be through. That's going to run on through to the goalkeeper. And it takes a nick off the player, out for a throw. It's good play. Camera. With his skill, here's a chance to have a run at goal and take the opposition on. Telemans. Slipping it through. Now it's offside. Three minutes Got to admire these linesmen, they don't get too many of these decisions wrong. That's the half-time whistle from the referee. 1-1 at the break. Here we go, the referee's blown his whistle, and we're off for the second half. Can find some space here on the flanks. Great interception. He's cut it out. Confident to control it, now needs to clear it. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direct. Slip through. Taking on a couple of opponents now. Got to finish here. Now oh, the keeper's done well to keep that one out. No stats. They aren't stats you normally associate with this team. They're normally much more imaginative than this. How about Leicester City's next game, Alan? They're playing Crystal Palace in the next match. And uh, I don't know really what the score's going to be here. I don't think there's going to be much between them. And there's the interception. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Camera. Good work, this, as they chase a go-ahead goal. Home team ready to make a change. Great ball. Is he in here? Goal! And they've gone into the lead. Although they've been second best for much of this game up to now, 
but they take the lead and it's a fine piece of finishing well any manager would enjoy seeing that the resilience the determination to protect their goal and then to spin forward and hurt the opposition Fulham need to re-fortify themselves at the moment they are behind Terence Congola. That's a great interception. Well, the game can be influenced so often by substitutes. The home team are going to perhaps gamble on that working for them now. Guiding it through. He's a danger, isn't he? He'll run in behind. He's run offside this time, though. Yeah, he's a nightmare for defenders. You can see them a little bit twitchy, trying to keep him quiet. Tom Kearney, Arthur. Didn't hit it cleanly at all. It's an important goal, isn't it, in the context of the match, Alan? Here it is again. Yeah, well, there might be a few fingers pointed at the keeper, but I don't think so. He's hit it so hard from that distance. Oh, he's playing it back to the goal. Well, it is an own goal, their second of the day. Misfortune, if you like, but the uh, root cause was the fact that they just didn't seem to be in control. Well, it's level again in the match. What a roller coaster ride it's been. That's a fine tackle. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. Patiently building up. Now for the lead. Good stop by the goalkeeper. He's put in the corner. And the corner claimed by the goalkeeper. Not too difficult. Got a bit of pressure on. Opportunity in a wider area. And he could get away here. It must be a goal. It must be. Wonderful save. No nonsense defending. It was needed. Well, it's uh, one change. And it looks like it's a case of just trying to freshen the team up a bit. Until that marvellous interception. It's still level as we go into the last five minutes of the game. Saw the direction of the pass. And they're going to start from the... Oh, it's an own goal. And what a terrible time to do it. Well, it is a goal. It is an own goal. I don't think there's much doubt about that, Alan. No, none at all. You're in those positions so often and sometimes it does go wrong. Well, earlier in the game, it might not have been so significant, this own goal, but it looks as though it's going to be of huge importance come the final outcome. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Chance for the equaliser! <laughs> what a puff out your cheeks moment and phew, got away with it. Calasionsi. Now Evans. And he's put that into his own net. Oh, what a shocking moment for the player. Look at him, he's distraught. Another peek at that goal. It's a frustrating way to go behind in a match when you contributed to the. And it's come to an end here with the final whistle. 
Well, it was a disappointment when the final whistle went. We could have done with it going on and on and on. It was that good. No, you almost get the feeling the players didn't want the ref to blow the final whistle. Plenty. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. They've opened them up here.
Thank you for joining us here today. We'll be taking some questions now. This is Selhurst Park, a fine stadium in South London. I'm Martin Tyler, he's Alan Smith. Premier League football we have for you, it's coming right up. It's Crystal Palace against Leicester City. I think the first ten minutes might tell us how this match is going to pan out, who can gain the upper hand, who can get hold of this ball and ask all the questions. Number 24. Gary Vardy was still in non-league football when he met an advisor who said, I'm going to get you to play for England, and he laughed, but of course it happened. Certainly did, fairy tale stuff, and I think there's a few more heroics to come from this boy as well. So here we go, we're underway here. Read the play well to intercept. Here's the Crystal Palace team. Gaeta is in goal. Luka Milivojevic plays with Max Meyer in midfield. And just one up front for them today. It's Chela Suyonsu. Three changes for Leicester City. Kasper Schmeichel starts in goal. Yuri Tielemans plays with Wilfred Ndidi in midfield. And just one out and out attacker in the lineup. Well, let's hear from Alan McAnally, who's got a goal to tell us about in the Everton game. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. Eight minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. And they've got it away from the danger. It's a bit of a transitional time at Chelsea, you feel. And that is reflected in their position in the league table. And they will be pushing hard to get up the table. If not, there'll be a lot of pressure on those who are running the club. Well, a lot of points still to play for, but um, they've been less than impressive, haven't they? Still time to make amends, but I don't know. A lot of ground to make up now. Max Meyer able to intercept here. Promising forward play from them again. We well, could be in. Here and Richard. Well, the opposition was caught napping there on that breakaway. And he's just gone all the way, hasn't he? What a fine individual effort. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? Well, not what he was looking for. And the manager now looking less than pleased. Somebody's going to pay for that uh, goal they've just conceded. So the first goal, it's 1-0. That's the City goal, number nine, Jamie Vardy. Taking on the defenders. Now they can swing into attack, and he's got some help. Sheikou Kuyate. Townsend. Ayu! Goal and hit back straight away. Great reaction. No time to sulk about conceding. They have scored at the other end. 
So away we go at one all. This could be promising. Ndidi. It's good attacking play this from them. Must take the lead here, which they do in good style. Uh, they played some good football leading up to that, Martin, and thoroughly deserved that goal. Well, this is the way to bounce back when you've just had a bit of a mess up at your own end. Come and cause havoc at the other. Well, that lends a different complexion to this match, doesn't it? I thought the other team was going to run away with it. Off we go again, 2-1. That's the City goal, number nine, Jamie Vardy. Meyer. Well, he's read that, hasn't he, and made the interception, made it look easy, actually. A real surprise, the visitors with less possession here. Really in the clear now. He's in the clear. Oh, he's kept it out. Saw the... No, it's offside. At Goodison Park is Alan McAnally with goal news. It's a second goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's been scored by Harry Kane. The keeper had come out for a cross and failed to catch it, leaving an easy finish. 34 minutes played, 2-1. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. He's got players helping him here, but he might go alone. They've lost the ball in a bad area. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Promising forward play from them again. This could be it. see that goal again don't we well he's he's got a powerful shot on him and he showed that there with that uh, wonderful finish in goes the corner now Evans Oof, we hit it well enough uh, but as we can see nowhere near the goal yeah, and his teammates aren't overly impressed with that Find some space here on the flanks. Can whip it in now. The assistant has raised the flag for offside. The referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Chilwell. Good vision. It's Jamie Vardy. And they blocked it then. Well, the referee is home for half time here with 2 1 the score. Well, what a player. What a performance. 
So here we go, we're underway here. Referee just checking everything is in order. And he blows for the second half to start. Vardy. Pulls it back now. And that shot's real opening now. That's out of danger there with that clearance. Has a go here. Saw the whites of the goalposts and quite prepared to have a... go but not that kind of go no whether it got a little bobble or not before he struck it i don't know but miles away patrick van arnhol maya now zaha zaha Got a chance to cross. Push back out into play. Goal news in the Everton game. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 55 minutes played. 3-1. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. He's through. It's a miss at a significant time. <laughs> Will that come back to haunt him? They could have been pulling ahead. Yeah, you see it so often. But uh, they are still in charge of this match. Number 22, James McCarthy. Here's McCarthy. Jordan Ayew. Andros Townsend. Excellent attacking play here. They could open up the opposition now. Chance to get the ball in the box. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture, Crystal Palace. They'll be facing. Trying to pick out a man in the middle, but it's the goalkeeper had the problem. He turns it over the bar for safety. Well, it's a chance burn that. Maybe not the best decision he's ever taken. Corner's taken. Keep up well to punch the corner. Zaha. Made a quick interception. Slip through. Well, it's come to nothing in the end. That's an easy cutout for the opposition. Saw the pass coming. Ricardo Pereira. Trying too hard, really, and losing the ball because of it. Now a throw in. Ben Chilwell. And they've spread it out wide here. Couldn't hold on to the ball. 
Alan McAnally is at Goodison Park today and he's got news of a goal. It's another goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 74 minutes played, 4-1. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. And the referee spotted that deflection. He's pointed to the corner. The substitute coming on to try and repair the damage now. Corner played in. He's gone to punch it away now and done well. Not really away from the threat here. The goal is given, and that is the equaliser. Takes a lot of concentration, this kind of volley, and look at him, eyes fixed firmly on the ball. Gets it all right here. Extraordinary game here, two very well-matched teams, and they're trading goal for goal in the game. Taking on the defenders. Must take the lead here. Well, they have cleared the danger. It was a decent opportunity, I think. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. Yeah, he certainly chipped in with a really good performance and had a good goal too. Well, coming to the end of the game, 2-2 two, two still. What about looking forward to their next game? Well, Crystal Palace go up against Chelsea. They fought pretty hard, but haven't hit top gear, so I think they'd be fairly pleased if this finishes level. Now, we've only got four minutes remaining in the match. Patrick Van Arnhol. He's got skill with the ball, backing himself in these circumstances. Townsend! And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up, it's offside. Ben Chilwell. Mdidi. The referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Well, their team's not been at its best, but there's still a chance here for a late win, and they're certainly making enough noise. That's a fine tackle. Can put them in front here. Well, there is the final whistle, and it's finished all square. Well, an excellent game of football. Both teams. Promising forward play from them again.